guys uh, good morning in the previous uh, session we discussed about one concept called supplementary genes as an example for non allelic or inter allelic gene action similarly today i have come here with one more new concept that is about complementary genes how these complementary genes are different from the previous supplementary genes this is first thing second thing because of the interaction between complementary genes there is uh, the modification of uh, mendelian cross ratio that is uh, from 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 into into 9 is to 7 9 is to 7. Total number is a 16. 9 plus 7, 16. 9 plus 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Means 9 plus 3, 12 plus 3, 15 plus 1, 16. So here the probable allelic combinations always in case of dihybrid we get 16. But the modification of Mendelian dihybrid ratio is once again observed. in case of uh, the interaction between complementary genes so before that let me uh, write the statement to, to understand what are the complementary genes here two non allelic non allelic dominant dominant genes together produce effect by complementing each other Where each gene can alone can alone can't or cannot produce effect. It is very interesting. Okay. Uh, look at it. Two dominant genes that are not belonging to the same locus. I represent it. I show you with the help of an example. I mean diagram. Here are pair of chromosomes. One is paternal. Another one is maternal. Let us say. there are two rows are as i said dominant genes but they are non allelic to each other non allelic to each other means it is like this let us say one dominant gene is that is c okay and another dominant gene not belonging to the same locus is let us say it is p okay see this is one dominant thing this is another dominant gene its corresponding locus on the maternal chromosome could be a gene that may be small c which is said to be like recessive or it may be dominant c i mean capital c also these two capital c and small c or capital c and capital c are belonging to the same locus position is the same on both paternal and maternal chromosome similarly there is one more dominant gene there is one more dominant gene that is capital p it is to express one character and it may be having corresponding allele on maternal chromosome 
as either small p or capital P. Look at it. Here capital P, small p or capital P and capital P are belonging to the same loci on both paternal and maternal chromosome. Similarly, capital C and small c or capital C and capital C are belonging to the same loci so on paternal and maternal chromosome. Here this is called as this, if this capital C interacts with this or capital P interacts with this small p, then it is a clear indication of allylic gene interaction. But we are not studying that. We are studying non-allylic. What do we mean by that? Here, when this capital P interacts with the capital C or when this capital C interacts with the capital P which are belonging to different loci when these two interact then what happens when they interact together when these two interact together they produce one character they produce one character and that character is produced in a way where this capital P can supplement, sorry, can complement capital C effect or capital C can complement the expression of capital P. So this is called as complement, they are giving complement to each other. It is just like look at it, I am a teacher teaching you in a classroom when you are present before me, then I may ask some student, come on, you can do it. And when you answer my question, I will say, Shabash. It is like giving compliment. It is like encouraging you. So that obviously your next time effect would be more stronger, more effective, more efficient. That way it is called as complementing to each other. Okay? That way this capital C and capital P are complementary genes belonging to different loci and when they interact with each other, nature of their interaction is complementing each other and to produce a common effect. Okay? Let me show you independently when capital C and small c when capital C and capital C or capital C and small c they can produce a particular particular character let me take an example to mention this capital C it is a kind of gene dominant gene in case of a plant I will take an example of a plant called garden sweet plant sweet plant. Its uh, botanical name that is uh, Lathyrus Lathyrus odoratus. Okay. In this, let us consider a trait that is color of the flower. Color of the flower. Let me say that here are the two genes to express the color of the flower in case of this garden sweet pea plant, okay? And let us consider the first gene, dominant gene that is capital C. Its corresponding alleles could be like either capital C, capital C or capital C, small c. Independently, when the, this gene is made to express, it could produce a white color or colorless white white color, let me write white, okay? And if you consider this capital P, it's corresponding only like capital P, capital P, or what? Capital P, small p. When it is made to express independent of capital C, means capital P interacting with small p or capital P interacting with capital P, could produce a color that is white only, means white would also said to be like a colorless, and this is also colorless. Okay, they could be able to produce only white color flowers when these two genes are independently made to express. Otherwise, under one case, when capital C and capital P interacted, okay, when they come together, that is like capital C and capital P, when they come together, it could produce purple color. It could produce purple color. Look at it. This purple color. This uh, purple color is colored flower. This colored pigment formation in a in the petals or in the flower is because of the collective effort of capital C and capital P. That is by means of complementing with each other. Let me explain you or let me represent the way how exactly this C and P uh, uh, react together. That is 
let us say beginning point where let me call it as precursor material precursor material this is for the formation of color pigment in flower precursor compound or precursor material okay when this is to be converted into purple it means the action of both capital c gene and capital p gene that way let me say like this in the end there is a pigment that is called as anthocyanin it is purple color pigment anthocyanin okay this is purple color but it is produced by the action of both capital c and capital p by reacting with each other but it occurs step wise here let me say that formation of intermediate compound that is called as chromogen this is this chromogen is in turn converted into anthocyanin but before that for the conversion of undifferentiated precursor compound into the chromogen one gene is required let me call it as sorry let uh, let me call it as enzyme one unknown this enzyme formation is because of a gene gene expression that is capital c okay i write it like this oh, oh, let me use this capital c capital c okay because of this capital c there is formation of an enzyme called as e1 so that enzyme will convert precursor compound into intermediate chromogen but the chromogen is not color pigment but this chromogen needs to be converted into color pigment as anthocyanin that is possible by the action of one more gene that is capital p okay and because of this gene expression there is a formation of one more enzyme that is called as e2 and here i represent this okay because of this enzyme e2 chromogen is converted into anthocyanin look at it here chromogen is not color because of the action of this capital p g this chromogen is further converted into anthocyanin means p complemented the expression of capital c so that this way these two <coughs> non allelic dominant c and p genes there is what the single effect that is formation of colored pigment that is purple colored flower instead of white okay and uh, let us uh, try to prove this with the help of an example sorry with the help of a crossing experiment that is the dihedral crossing experiment since two genes are involved in this and uh, here let me write like uh, let us cross this uh, white white colored flower producing a lacrus i mean a sweet pea plant when it is crossed with a white color white color uh, what flower here also flower so this is both are white flower producing sweet garden sweet pea plants and let me write the genotype this is phenotype white white and phenotype is capital c capital c small p small p this genotype is small c small c capital p capital p okay when the, there is formation of gametes so these two common these two will come together that is capital c small p okay and here small c capital p when these two come together when these two come together they form a genotype capital c small c capital p small p for producing a phenotypic character in f1 generation is obviously purple okay purple purple flowers purple colored flowers look at it capital c is one dominant gene capital p is another dominant gene these two complemented each other and resulted in the formation of purple color instead of their parental 
flower color as a hybrid. So this is very, very interesting. And this in turn, we can do it by considering a checkerboard because we need to cross this Yafon generation through self-pollination and fertilization. So let me uh, take an example. I mean, let take the help of checkerboard. Okay. Otherwise, I'll show you like this. It will be more easy to understand. So, your phone hybrids. Let us let me take capital C, small c, capital B, small b. When you cross this, <coughs> means directly I like got purple, purple flower bearing plant with another purple bearing. Flower bearing F1 hybrid plus let me write the genotype as capital C small c capital B small b and here also capital C small c capital B small b and they produce gametes with the four allelic combinations 25 percentage of the total gametes produced by this parent could be like this it could be like capital C capital B another combination that is capital C small b one more that is small c capital B and one more possible that is last one. another 25 percent another 25 percent and last 25 percent that is small c small b okay totally four kinds of allelic combinations come together during the gamete formation and here also the same you can expect first combination could be capital C capital B Second combination could be capital C small p. Third combination could be small c capital P. And the fourth one that is small c small p. Right? When this gamete probably combines with this or this or this or this, what would be the end result? Let us see it by taking the help of a checkerboard, okay, or a peanut square board. I hope uh, you got the points what all I said or mentioned and here I do checkerboard okay and uh, four rows okay and here four columns small c capital p small p this with this 
small c small c capital p capital p and this with this small c small c capital p small p and last row this with this that is capital c small c capital p small p this capital c small c small p small p this with this small c small c capital p small p and this is small c small c small p small p okay and now look at it these are the 16 genotypes when we cross purple flower bearing plant with purple flower bearing plant belonging to f1 generation so let us repre i mean interpret the genotype genotype into phenotypic character let us consider for your convenience i am telling you the first row and the first column lump cone wise you know perpendicularly thrown away and done that that contains totally 4 and 4 totally 8 what kind of uh, uh, this one what is that uh, uh, <coughs> complementary action so that becomes uh, what purple i write with the uh, which color uh, purple with the uh, with the blue color chalk and uh, and purple to mention i write capital b so this is purple this is purple this is purple this is purple because capital c capital p yelli capital c matu capital p banda hoye 16 walaga avello purple colored flowers produce aagta antu tilkobeku hange ee nodibittu anta capital c capital p observe maarkondre bekittu andre nimu idu purple aagthade idu purple colored flower aagthade then yelli row nodkondi anta andre illi nodre white color flower produce aagta hange nodu capital c cap small p so ili incomplete biosynthesis aagide pigment form agalla color pigment adukku idu white nan the blue i use the blue to represent white colored flower so this uh, this one of course capital c capital p obviously do any aagide purple aagide and uh, this is again white yakandre in capital p illa adukku idu white aagide anandre idu nodide once again idu purple aagthade then idu small c ide capital p eradu dominant illa anodukagi idu white aagthade idu white aagthade idu white aagthade capital p illa idu white aagthade idu white aagthade idu olaga yestu purple adu yestu white adu yenchidre pa anta gothagutade ninge look at it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 9 purple aagta purple color flowers aagta anandre uludu ella enanta white aagta yes bro yes aagbe ko 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 white color aagtide white color flower aagtide andu namuga mendelian dihybrid ratio yenittu 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 iddu 9 is to 7 aagtide because of two dominant genes belonging to different loci complemented together to produce a new character as purple so this is we have exactly we need to understand we need to understand the genotypic sorry phenotypic ratio obtained in a dihybrid cross because of two dominant complementary genes interaction and please try to follow the crossing before that you follow the tray then color uh, color flower white flower white color flower and the genes in all in it dominant genes then uh, obtaining the f1 generation and this is the f2 generation to say needless to say this what we got is definitely this f2 generation okay so Your two generation gives us a ratio that is a nine is to seven pair. Nine of them are purple color because of both complementary genes. Both the genes uh, interacted each other by giving in complement to each other, and remaining seven not because of complementary gene action, and obviously they become colorless or white color flower producing plants. So this way, how exactly we could be able to. prove we could be able to prove or give justification that uh, complementary genes dihybrid action dihybrid cross gives us a ratio 
नाइन इज टू सेवन थैंक यू थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल